Hello and welcome to CAD Space. My name is Vivek and today in this video I'll be showing you how to add your part files into your routing library, how to download the part files from 3D Content Central and work with imported file types such as STEP or IGS. Piping and routing is one of the SOLIDWORKS premium feature. So I'll firstly make sure my add-in is turned on. And for this demonstration I've prepared this model. Um, the components are linked together with a pipe route. So I'll isolate this component to make things clear from my graphics area. As you can see in my uh, route path, uh, I want to add a valve in here. So I can do that by right clicking on the path and hitting on edit route. I can drag the component from my routing library inside the piping. But for this demonstration, I will download the path file from 3D Content Central and show you how to add them. So I can expand the tree from 3D Content Central and hit on Supply Content and hit on All Categories and click here. This is going to load up a 3D Content Central website and you can search for any parts uh, whether valves, motors and many others. And I want to be really specific and search for ball valve. And I can um, look for the more results by clicking more result per page and sort the components through based our uh, number of downloads. And while searching the part files in uh, 3D Content Central, you want to be really specific with your size. And I'm looking for 8 inch ball valve. So either you can go for the size or you can go for the configuration. So I'll just simply scroll down and look for the ball valve. So I can see there is a full port ball valve and it has the configuration as well so I'll load that up so when loading the files up in 3D Content Central you can view the uh, all the different configuration available you can download the part files in uh, different file format like SOLIDWORKS, SETIA and imported, um, uh, imported files like STEP or IGS you can view them in 3D so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this uh, part file in SOLIDWORKS file format as well as step file format and show you the difference between them. So let me quickly jump to my SOLIDWORKS window as I've already downloaded these part files. After the files are loaded, on the screen to the left you can see the file in SOLIDWORKS part file format. If I go to my configuration tree, I can find all the configuration that was listed in the website. Additional to that, there are route points and axis also defined. All it remains is to copy and paste this in your routing folder and you can simply drag and drop and in your route path and use this as a route component. Um, this is not always the case. Users usually receive step file format so I'll be working on step file format and show you how to convert them. As you can see in my feature design tree I don't have the points defined. So we can make this a route component by hitting on tools, going to routing, routing tools and clicking on routing library manager. Once this is loaded up, you can click on Routing Component Wizard. This is going to convert the part file into routing part file. And under Piping and under Valves, and I'll drop down and click on Ball Valve and I'll click Next. You will have to define a couple of routing points. So first I'll start with Connecting Point by clicking on Add. And all you'll have to do is select the circular A's face or cylindrical face. So for this, I'll click on this A's. And it is pointing towards the wrong direction. So I'll reverse the direction here. And I'll make sure my pipe size is 8 inch. And I'll hit OK. And I'll accept this. And the first route uh, connecting point has been defined. So I'll add one more since I need two connecting points. And I'll reverse around on the other side. I'll select this circular A's and it is also pointing in the wrong direction. I'll click on reverse. I'll make sure I've selected the right pipe size and I'll hit OK. The connecting points has been defined. Now we need to add a reference point. If you look at your graphics uh, representation of the model here, your route point, I mean the reference point is in the middle of the path which intersects between the path and the model. So I'll click on add and usually if the part files is made symmetrical about the origin uh, and the planes so if I, if I hover my mouse it is and if I click on the origin it exactly passes to that point so I can accept that and I'll hit next and 
the next one would be to add the vertical axis so if you see it has to pass through the model in between so I'll click on add and since we don't have one we'll have to create by clicking on new so I'll make the axis by clicking on two plane axis and I will click on the front plane and I'll click on the right plane and I have the axis ready for me so once this has been defined I'll click next and it says the path modeling is complete so we'll click next again and this is the point which has the disadvantage while downloading the part files in step file format since we don't have any design table uh, not all the configuration can be made so uh, we'll have to click OK and move forward and in this uh, section you can add description uh, material uh, any comments you want to add for this specific um, route part you can add them from here so I'll click next for this one and here is the point where you have to select the route path so I'll accept this one and I'll hit finish yes I want to save so I'll hit on S and yes I want to do that as well and it's gonna add that data into my route uh, database so it has been successfully added so I'll click OK and then click OK so I'll cancel this since I don't have anything to add more so now I'm going to use that uh, route part which has been added into my previous assembly design after the part file has been added to the routing uh, library uh, I can zoom into the route path and I can drag and drop this uh, part file and into the route path it is going to automatically snap to the path and if I hit shift arrow key in my keyboard I can rotate and orient the model in desired direction uh, not only that you can turn uh, one specific settings so when you drag and drop in the component in your routing path so under routing under use the triad to position and orient the model on drop so I'll turn that on and notice the difference when, you, when I drag and drop the component this time you can see as I lift the mouse uh, I can hit up and down to orient the model in a desired position not only that I can also rotate around the proper axis to orient the model in the desired angle value okay so that's all for this video I hope it was something helpful um, I'll catch you guys in the next video thank you